Hello everyone, I am Samurai Sam, and I'm going to do something today that I've never actually done before. I'm going to give you a tour of my room slash video game collection. And uh, I have a very tiny room actually, and I have like more than 1200 games, and it's kind of difficult to cram them all in there, but it's, uh, I've made it into my little slice of heaven. I really like how it looks and uh, how I'm able to store everything. And uh, now hopefully you won't get too jealous. Here we go. That's where I sleep. That's my chair. And there's the big TV, 51 inch, 2002 Panasonic. It is actually an HD TV. Yes, there are HD TVs that are not widescreen. They don't make them anymore. But um, because my room is not well lit, I'm going to use the help of a lamp to show you everything. Just grip this properly. Over here on the wall, I have a Samus sticker. It's a giant Samus sticker. It's like 17 inches. That was a gift from Gideon Z, who was the head of uh, Aeon Genesis Translation Projects. I was actually a real-life friend of his for a while, but he just recently moved away to the other side of the country, unfortunately. Some non-video game stuff here. I went to Kineticon this year, and I got some memorabilia. C Brunelfloss CD, that guy with the glasses CD. And an Awkward Zombie Volume 1 book. Great webcomic. I got all those three things from the original creators and I had them all sign them. That's really cool. Bunch of Nintendo Powers from when I subscribed to them back in the GameCube era mostly. And now for the games. Let's start from up here. You got PS2. Have a lot of RPGs for PS2. Most of the good ones. Still a few that I'm missing but not a whole lot got a Devil Summoner here. That used to be a rare game, but they reprinted it just recently, so it's not valuable anymore. Uh, really, really high stack here. I don't really have any choice but to stack them. Guitar Man used to be wicked rare, and then they reprinted that as well. I got that back when it was rare. Awesome game, though, still. Glad I got it. And then up here we got Devil Summoner 2 in the box. It's not in the best of shape. It was actually like that when I got it. Stupid GameStop. But I got it for a good price, so I can't complain. All three of the Shadow Hearts games. I think uh, Shadow Hearts from the New World is underrated. Really fun game. Great battle system. One of the best I've ever seen. I have all the uh, US release Shin Megami Tensei games for PS2. Uh, I actually don't care for Nocturne very much. I would consider selling it if I ever need extra money. But I really like Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. And then we're getting close to the Japanese games. Yes, that is correct. I am a import gamer. I import games from Japan. I have over 150 of them. Also a few from Europe as well. So uh, I have uh, all the Tales games for PS2. Both the ones released in the US and then... Four down here that were only released in Japan. I'm not going to pull them out right now, but you got Tales of Destiny, Director's Cut, Destiny 2, Rebirth, and Symphonia. Um, other things I have here include some of the Sega Ages games, like I have the Gunstar Heroes Collection, the Monster World Collection, Fantasy Star Collection, Fantasy Zone Collection. Um, I also have Final Fantasy X International. Where is it? Right, right there. I got Mushihime Sama, which is a great shoot 'em up from Cave. I got Escaluda, which in my opinion is even better up there, and Dotenpachi Daiojo, so mostly shoot 'em ups and compilations and RPGs for my PS2 imports. Here we have the box for the Samba de Amigo Maracas controller for the Dreamcast, the Japanese version. That is really an awesome game. Then the Guitar Hero controllers, I have one for Wii, one for PS2, I don't really use them a whole lot. Up here we got some box GBA games. Right here is Famicom Mini, Super Mario Bros. 2, The Lost Levels. More Japanese stuff here, the three uh, legendary Starfy games. F-Zero Climax, which is the latest F-Zero game, if you can believe it. It's nine years old. They really need to bring back F-Zero. All three Fire Emblems. Fire Emblem 6 is actually my favorite game in the whole series, believe it or not. That's an import from Europe, Kuro Kuro Kurin. Good game. This one's even better, it's the sequel, Kurin Paradise. Really fun. Mother 3. A lot of people appreciate that. The original Rhythm Heaven, which is an awesome game. In my opinion, the best in the series. And WarioWare Twisted, which is one of my favorites, probably of all time. 
absolutely love this game. Perfect tilt controls. Here we got some uh, Turbo Graphics games. Here is Air Zonk. Then most of the other games have a spine. Got Lords of Thunder, which is a pretty awesome shoot 'em up game with a rock and soundtrack. New Adventure Island is a rare game, worth a lot of money. We got uh, got a converter to play Japanese games. Then we got my two 64DD games. This is the reason why I got a 64DD F Zero X expansion kit. It is amazing. I cannot believe Nintendo has not tried to re-release it in any form. That's an absolute crime. Just a few boxed N64 games. Love Paper Mario. We got both the Zeldas. Um, I should be getting Sin and Punishment in the mail sometime next week. Now some loose cartridges. We got Super Game Boy and then the imported Super Game Boy 2 right here, which has some improvements, such as a uh, link cable adapter, so you can play two-player games. Loose Genesis carts. Not a lot of really special stuff here. Do have a Hyperstone Heist, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got that for really cheap. Over here is my two Sega 32X games. One is Tempo, and one is possibly the rarest game I own in terms of just scarcity. Um, World Series Baseball. Yeah, you wouldn't expect a sports game to be rare. It's actually not as valuable as your rare, the rarity might um, normally uh, make it because probably it's because it's a sports game, but this game is quite rare. I was lucky to find it in the wild for cheap. And then uh, loose Super Nintendo games. I can't show you all of them. I'm not going to tear this whole thing apart. That is one uh, Super Fam Japanese Super Famicom game that I don't have the box for. It's um, Macross, Scramble Valkyrie. Cool shoot 'em up game. Let's see if I can pull out a couple of gems in here for it. Well, I like to show you Earthbound. I do have that in here. I used to have a complete Earthbound, and unfortunately, I sold it like an idiot. Yeah, I don't feel like digging out Earthbound right now. Over here. If I can find it, whoops. Here's a treasure of mine. Wild Guns. Got that on Craigslist. Great deal for that. Awesome game. Rare game, too. A um, bunch of N64 games. Um, I do have Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Probably my most valuable 64 game. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. This is my most valuable N64 game. Clay Fire, the Sculptor's Cut. I actually used to have two copies. I sold one of them. Um, got that for cheap before it was popular and uh, rare. Well, it's always been rare, but really sought after, I mean. I have Goemon's Great Adventure. Over here, if I can find it, I'd like to show you Ogre Battle 64. Another one that's popular. Then down here, I uh, got a whole bunch of Atari 2600 games. You see, I see a Game Boy camera there and also an e-reader. I actually got that when it was fairly new. A bunch of e-reader cards in here. I'll show a few of them to you. Here you go. Manhole, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers. Got, also got Ice Climber and a bunch of Animal Crossing cards. I actually thought the e-reader was kind of cool back in the day. Although now I find it inferior to other things. But the games were nice and cheap. A bunch of Game Gear games. Nothing really special here. I got them all for cheap. Um, got some uh, loose Game Boy cartridges. A lot of Pokemon in here. But I also have something really special hiding down here. Shantae. I got this for $12 at an independent game store. That was amazing. This game is really rare and really valuable. And it's a cool game. Now, uh, for some complete Game Boy slash Game Boy Color games, we have, starting up here, an import called uh, Cave Noir. This is a roguelike sort of game. Uh, I'm not going to explain it in depth. It's kind of unique. Uh, I might review it on GameFAQs since it doesn't have a review posted right now. I've been playing it lately. It's really, actually pretty good, so um, check out my review. And uh, this is another one of the rare things I have. It's the box and manual for uh, Gargoyle's Quest. I have the game too, obviously. The game itself isn't rare, but the box and manual can be really a pain to find. Surprise is actually not more valuable than it is. Um, Grandia Parallel Trippers, imported from Europe, I have Konami Gra Game Boy Collection Volume 3, which is pretty cool. Mole Mania is a good game. Magi Nation and Metal Walker are sealed. I was really excited when I got them, but I found out they're actually not that valuable. And then here is Pokemon Card GB2, 
which is a sequel to Pokemon Trading Card Game for Game Boy. I am really surprised it didn't get released in America. It's actually a really good game, much better than the first one. Here I have a Mega Memory Card, which lets me back up Game Boy save files. That's really awesome, so you don't have to worry about your battery dying on your Pokemon games or anything. Let's look over here. We got Sega Saturn games. Actually, let's start with Sega CD. I don't have much for Sega CD. Uh, if you're wondering why a couple of these uh, logos are upside down, it's because I actually place my games face down so the manuals won't warp. Because with these long box games, uh, when gravity pulls on them, it causes the, the manuals to warp and it does not look good. Most of the games have uh, the label when you flip it over facing the correct way, but a couple of them don't, like Dark Wizard and Shining Force CD. And here is one of the gems of my collection. It's Snatcher for Sega CD. It's in excellent condition. The manual is like flat as a pancake. And it's a great game, so I'm really happy to have it. Uh, Sega Saturn games, I have some really special stuff here. I got a lot of these games before they were valuable. Uh, or rather, as valuable as they are now. Got some Burning Rangers going on here. We got um, Magic Knight Ray Earth. That is complete with the stickers, which is great. Mega Man 8, Mega Man X4. And up here we have uh, six uh, European Sega Saturn games that weren't... Re well, Shining Realism was actually released in America, but I got the European version because Sega translated in, Amer in uh, Europe while Working Design did in America. I wanted the Sega translation. Parodius is one of my favorite shoot 'em ups of all time. Contains actually two games, second and third in the series. Mega Man X3. I have all three Saturn game, Saturn and Mega Man games. That's cool. KO Flying Squadron 2, which is one of the rarer games I own. Cool game. Deep Fear is a horror game, the last Saturn game ever released in Europe. Darius 2 is a good shim up. More games. One of the crown jewels of my collection right here, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Really happy to have that. Saturn Bomberman is cool. Shining Force 3 is amazing. And uh, Three Dirty Dwarves is a cool beat em up game. You can play with three players. Now Saturn Imports. Akamaja Dracula X, which is Symphony of the Night. Decent port with some cool extra features. Astro Superstars is a cool game. That's Gunbird right there. You can't see, uh, there's no English spine, so I had to place it like that. Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. A um, couple games that don't have spines. These two are Shining Force 3, Scenario 2, and Scenario 3, along with the Premium Disc. Really great series right there. Wish they would remake it somewhere else so more people could play it. Street Fighter Alpha 3, which is possibly the best home version of the game. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, Saturn collection. Love the Saturn. It's totally an underrated system. Now for DS and uh, 3DS. Actually, first let's look at 3DS. Don't have much for it. Love the new Fire Emblem. By the way, I have every single Fire Emblem game ever released so far. So uh, you can check out another video on my channel to see them all. We've got uh, some DS games here, some imports. I'm going to have uh, Dragon Quest 4 and 6 coming in the mail, so I'll have the four main Dragon Quest games for DS all complete. That'll be cool. Um, we got here Fire Emblem 12, which is one of the best in the series, after Shadow, Shadow Dragon wasn't so great. Here, imported from Europe, is freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupert Land, which is a funny game. Ghost Trick is awesome. That is Gyakuten Kenji 2, also known as Ace Attorney Investigations 2, which is going in the process of being fan translated. We got Jump Superstars, and I have Jump Ultimate Stars as well. Let me just uh, put this down for a second while I take this down. That way you can see what's behind these cases. Here is Jump Ultimate Stars. Last window is the sequel to uh, Hotel Dusk which did get released in America, but this only got released in Europe and Japan. Much better than the first one. Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors is a really cool visual novel game. And then here are two of my favorite games of all time. Os Tatsukai Wendon 1 and 2. Great music games right here. Um, if you've played Elite Beat Agents, uh, that's that game was inspired by this game. I actually got this before Elite Beat Agents was even announced. I've played these games to death and I love them. I think they're better than Elite Beat Agents. That's me personally. I do have all the Phoenix Wright games. One of them is missing because my sister's borrowing it. A whole bunch of Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Some other stuff here. 
Retro game challenge is kind of neat. Not really great though. I love Scribble Knots. Love World's Ends with you. Yeah, DS is actually one of my favorite systems. Absolutely love it. 360 games are down here. We've got most of the cave shoot 'em ups. Kite Katana, Death Smiles, a couple Doden Pachis. Like the Japanese games you see are all cave shoot 'em ups. Just got Doden Pachi Sai Daiojo just recently. Mushihime Sama, Esp uh, Galuda 2, Muchi Muchi Porch, and Pink Sweets, and uh, also got the Sega Genesis Collection, which is a really cool compilation. Uh, some other stuff here. Uh, I haven't played a whole lot of other Xbox games on it, to be honest with you, 360. I have played uh, Portal on the Orange Box. That was really cool. Um, now, let's look at some of my systems since we're uh, in the area. I've got my Atari 2600 here. I've got Ape Escape and Tales of Vesperia out right now because I'm currently playing those. They're on top of the PS3. Right here i got a Turbo Duo, which is a rare system. It plays uh, Turbo uh, Graphics and uh, Turbo CD games. We have got the Xbox 360 Wii. Two GameCubes. I got one of them for cheap. That's why I have two. Original Xbox. PS2. The one on bottom is Japanese. One on top is American. That way I can play imports. Dreamcast, Nintendo 64 with the 64DD under it, imported from Japan. Normally there's a PS1 right here, but my sister is borrowing that so she can play Final Fantasy VII. Sega Saturn, which is totally underrated and awesome. Sega Genesis with the CD and 32X, both attached. Got Super Nintendo hiding in the back over there. And uh, top-loading NES right there on the left. I actually do not have the original model NES anymore. Over here we have a whole bunch of extra stuff like accessories and the like. Loose manuals are in that box. Over here we got a whole bunch of controllers and such. Got a super scope right here. This whole corner here is kind of disorganized. I just kind of use it to store things that I don't really can't really store anything else. Store like big boxes. Got a bunch of system boxes in there. Got it like a box 32x. A box, a box for a uh, 64DD and the Wii DS. All those. And here I keep uh, like boxes of games that have like limited editions or art books or whatever that aren't really convenient to store with the rest of uh, the games for their system. Xenoblade art book there, new uh, Tales of Zillia just came out, Ace Attorney Investigations 2 collector's package, some cool stuff over there. Now, moving on to over here, let's look at some NES games. We've got some loose cards here. I, I put most of the uh, good games on the top here and then the lesser games on the bottom, generally speaking. Got Mice Tyson's Punch-Out. I don't have a whole lot for NES. Um, Venture of Link with the Manual. That's cool. Now, box... No, wait, actually, let's look at these first. Um, Arkanoid. Battletoads. Uh, mostly good stuff here. Now for the boxed NES games, we got the original Zelda. Not in the best condition, but I got it for five bucks. Really happy to have it. Mario 3, Mario 1. That's actually the Canadian release of Super Mario Bros. 1. So the manual and the box are partially in French. Star Tropics 100% complete with the letter unused. Mega Man 6 complete. That's really cool to have. That's the only, actually the only NES Mega Man game I have. Ice Climbers. Then probably the most valuable NES box game I have is Gargoyles Quest 2 right here. Then Contra, which is of course is a classic. Adventures of Lolo, Adventure Island. And then up here we got three Famicom games, two of which are complete. They are both Fire Emblem games. This is the first Fire Emblem game ever made. Notice that's Marth on there on the right. He does not wear pants in the first game. That's kind of funny. Now... PS1. A few long box games here. Doom, Jumping Flash, King's Field, which I don't like. And Mortal Kombat 3, missing the backside artwork for that jewel case. And let's look at a bunch of the games here. Don't know how well you can see them. I think you should be able to make out the titles. A lot of RPGs here, but other stuff too. Asteroids is a cool and underrated PS1 game. Great uh, remake of a classic bunch of Crash Bandicoot games. I actually have the Final Fantasy VII demo disc. 
bunch of Final Fantasy stuff here. Fox Hunt is an uncommon game. Not worth a ton of money, but it's kind of hard to find. Grandy is one of my favorite RPGs ever. Both the Lunars. Lunar 2, unfortunately, is missing the Pendant. That kind of sucks. Metal Gear Solid 1 is missing the manual. Still a lot of PS1 stuff, actually, I want that I don't have. Got Suikoden 2, though. That's really great to have. Both the Tales of Destiny games. I really love Tales of Destiny 2, which is actually Tales of Eternia. Um, let's see here. Both the Toombas. Valkyrie profile's great. And now the imports. We've got some really good import games here. Got um, Brigand Brigandine Grand Edition. Gradius Gaiden's a great game. Harmful Park is a very rare and a terrific game. We got Ore no Riori, which is a cooking game. Kind of arcadey cooking game. Um, Rakugaki Showtime is a great multiplayer uh sort of dodgeball spin-off kind of game from Treasure, the people who made Gunstar Heroes. Also got remake of Snowboard Kids, Tales of Fantasia, Tearing Saga, Metro Little Ralph, which is a rare game, and Umihara Kawase Shun 2nd Edition, which is really cool as well. I'll tell you more about Umihara Kawase later. Now let me just real quick get these out of the way so you can see what's behind these piles of NES games. Ooh. got some PSP and uh, Dreamcast here for you. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of PSP. Mm, a lot of the games I played either are disappointing or just not really that amazing. I don't like the loading times. Most of the multi-platform games that are on PSP, I prefer the originals. Um, didn't really care for the two Persona games. I do have all four of the Konami uh, portable packs that were made for PSP. That's Parodius, Gradius, Twin B, and Salamander. That's pretty cool. E7 is an exception to what I just said. E7 is a terrific game. Made me happy to have a PSP. And uh, Dreamcast, I don't have a lot for Dreamcast. I'm not a big Dreamcast guy, honestly. I do have a Grandia 2 loose there. You can't see it on the spine. That's a great RPG. Both Marvel vs. Capcoms. Samba de Amigo version 2000 is amazing probably the best reason I can give you to own a Dreamcast right now. And uh, as we ascend a little bit here, probably my favorite part of my collection is my boxed SNES collection right here. I have all eight Squaresoft games released in the US all complete. That is amazing. Only problem is that Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is in kind of bad condition, the box. Maybe I'll get a replacement for it someday. Illusion of Gaia is great. I played that when I was a kid. Both the Lufias. Lufia 2 is awesome. That Mega Man X right there has never been played by anybody. It is in fantastic condition. More stuff over here. Secret of Evermore is great. Played that one when I was young as well. Space Mega Force is a totally underrated Super Nintendo shoot 'em up game. One of my favorite shoot 'em ups ever. Super Mario RPG is another one that I hold dear. Might be wondering what's up with those four uh, differently colored box games. That's because those are PAL games. And if you don't know what a PAL game is, it means uh, a game that was released in Europe or Australia or in some other parts of the world. Um, those four games were never released in America. And uh, PAL games for Super Nintendo have many differently colored boxes, unlike uh, American games, which are almost always in black. Um, the four PAL games I have are Poppin' Twin B, Poppin' Twin B Rainbow Bell Adventures, Terra Enigma, and The Fireman. Now for Super Famicom here. It's actually pretty cheap to get a lot of Super Famicom games complete, which is part of the reason why I have so many. Some really good stuff here. Shigi no Dungeon 2 right here, Sheer in the Wander. It's a great roguelike game. Two Fire Emblems right here. Um, we've got... Kirby Star Stacker right here, which is a really rare game. In I have it in great condition. That's awesome. Lennis 2 is the sequel to Paladin's Quest. Now let me just slide these over so you can see what's behind them. We've got more stuff. Ngoku Shonen Papuakon is a funny and weird game from Enix. That is Super Bomberman 4, good party game, obviously. 
I could t rant on about a lot of these games, but I'm trying to cut this short. Um, Venture of Horai High School is a funny and quirky RPG. It's got some flaws, but it's a really cool game. I'm glad that I played it. Then right here is a game called Sute Hakun, which is a game about uh, action game about uh, solving puzzles. You call it an action puzzle game. It's one of my favorite games on the system. Really cool game. It's also actually pretty rare because it was late in the system's lifetime. Here we have the first Umihara Kawase complete. It's a uh, action game where you can uh, use a, your, your fishing line to swing around like Spider-Man. The physics of the game are really good. Level design is great. Absolutely love this game. And then under these games is the Fire Emblem Thrakia 776 Deluxe Pack, which is one of the jewels in my collection. Absolutely a uh, great thing to have. Um, I actually have a, sound, a surround sound system, a very high quality surround sound system installed in my room. Uh, Sony Bravia. Sounds absolutely amazing. Here we got a whole bunch of controllers. This is not nearly as much as I have overall. This is just stuff that I use often enough to keep here. Then here we have boxed Genesis games. Some of these are missing the manual, but that's okay. Barney's Hide and Seek is amazing. No, I'm just kidding. It sucks. Castlevania and Contra are great. Dynamite Heady is one of my favorite old school platform games. Um, and we got some Sonics here. Sonic and Knuckles is my favorite Sonic game. One of my probably my favorite Genesis game overall. Toji and Earl and Panic and Funkatron I played a lot when I was a kid. And all your base are belong to us. Yes, that is Zero Wing, which I had to import from Europe. Notice how it says uh, Mega Drive on it instead of Genesis. Then if we turn around, we've got some Xbox games. Most of these are pretty cheap. Xbox is a pretty easy system to collect for right now. Mega Man Anniversary Collection is great value these days considering the prices the actual original games go for. Cost you hundreds to get all those games normally. Um, nothing terribly valuable here. And then here we got GameCube. I have four imported GameCube games. They are Dream Mix TV World Fighters, which is a crossover Smash Brothers-esque game. It has Solid Snake in it, Simon Belmont in it, Bomberman, uh, Optimus Prime. It's kind of a crazy crossover game. Also got Kuru and Squash, which is part of the Kuru 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 and series. That's really cool. Naruto Clash of Ninja 4. Uh, I'm not really a Naruto fan, Naruto fan, but this is a cool four-player fighting game. And Nintendo Puzzle Collection, which contains... Tetris Attack, Dr. Mario 64, and a remake of Yoshi's Cookie. Uh, Four-player Tetris Attack. It's the only time you can ever play it, as far as I know. Really cool. Then, GameCube stuff. F-Zero GX is awesome. Fire Emblem is awesome. Bunch of Mario stuff. All the Mario parties. Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Stakes. Introduced me to that series. I absolutely love that. And I just have so many games for this that I can't show you the whole piles because they're all... See how tall they are behind here. It would take me a while to really uh, dismantle this. I got some uh, special GameCube stuff. Pikmin 2. Skies of Arcadia Legends. Um, what do I have down there? Anything of interest? Got uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Wind Waker. WarioWare. Some cool games. GameCube is a good system. Now a bunch of Wii games. I have a lot for Wii. Do have Xenoblade. You might have noticed that by the art book that you saw earlier. I have all three of the Operation Rainfall games. True Story I actually imported Xenoblade and Pandora's Tower from Europe before they were announced for a US release. That kind of irritated me a little bit. Yeah, Wii's an underrated system, I think. I think it takes too much heat. It's actually got a lot to offer. Um... And then I think the last thing that I have to show you is my PS3 collection. It is right here, on top of the TV. I keep stuff on top of the game so they won't get sunburnt. Uh, that makes the color fade. That one Japanese game is Another Century's Episode R, which I got for free. I haven't really played it. Those three Atea games right there are all new and sealed. I haven't opened them at all. So is Hyper Dimension at Neptunia MK2. Mark II, rather. I think, I think that's what you're supposed to call it. Got the Metal Gear Legacy Collection. Nina Cooney's great. Portal 2. Tales of Graces and Tales of Zillia. 
They have Valkyria Chronicles. You don't know Jack's a fun game, a fun trivia game. And uh, yeah, so uh, that is my game collection. Although I have I have a few games that are downstairs in a guest room, but uh, that is the large bulk of my collection here. And uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you're not too jealous. Uh, so uh, this has been Samurai Sam. I hope you've enjoyed uh, my uh, watching my game room, and uh, please subscribe and uh, check out my other videos too. See you next time.